Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports, another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Alongside Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich, this is Kevin Harlan. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Maxi and Oubre, they have the guard duties. Inside for him, it's Martin next to MB. And it's George in at the three, the small four. And for the Hawks, Young and Bogdanovich are the guards. The front court is Reese Shea and Johnson, and it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. All the talk, Greg, leading up to this one has been about the impact of the backcourt. And that's where it all starts. When you have a confident and competent backcourt, it just opens up a lot of things for you offensively. Now, here's Johnson. Here's Young. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's gotten the chance to pick up the points at the line. We're talking about Trey Young here, GA. What stands out most about him to you? Well, Kevin, I, I'd say just how confident he is, right? He, he plays with that unique energy and swagger. I mean, you love him if he's on your team and can't stand him if he's playing against you. That's good from Young. And what about the evolution of Tyrese Maxey? Uh, Greg, according to him, uh, he's just getting started. Uh, well, Kevin, I'd have to agree. I mean, he's got some big shoes to fill with James Harden leaving, but each year this guy has just gotten better. And not only has he matched Harden's production in Philadelphia, I think he's exceeded it. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Pass to Embiid. Floats one. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And worth mentioning, guys, the free throw percentage he brought in from last season, how about 88%? Free throw drops for Embiid. And you know, guys, with Embiid on the floor, it's not just about his individual play. He changes everything for everyone on that team. That's how dominant he is. It's not just statistics. His presence alone propels him. Young's shot is off. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. Well, you know, sometimes the most pivotal plays don't always go on the stat sheet. Now here's Embiid. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Embiid's got five. Yeah, this is the beauty of Embiid's game. Uh, he has a shot from anywhere on the floor. Johnson the screen. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Embiid, shoots over Capella. Embiid, no good. Yeah, you expect him to make those. Good luck, just couldn't find the mark. Now Johnson. Now here's Bogdanovich, covered by Oubre. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. That shot wide open. Well, with his skill and confidence with the ball, if you put him in position, he'll reward you. Oubre passes to Embiid. Score of the basket is third after five shots. And the sheer size of Embiid poses so many problems for the opponent, and he's using it well to score inside of it. And Embiid with the block! And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Oh. Oh. 76ers on defense. They trail by one. Young against Maxi. Takes the 13-footer. Young, no good. 
for Philadelphia. They've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Here's George. And it's Reza Shea with the rebound. Hawks have gone two of six from the field. Young finds Capella. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And they pick up two. The closer Capella is, the more effective he becomes. Showing off the nice touch there. Axie passes to Embiid. Outside, George. Embiid sets the pick for George. And it's off from three-point range. The Hawks leading by three. Johnson outside. Embiid against Capella. Pass to Reza Shea. Six to shoot. Johnson to screen. Takes a three. And it's Reza Shea missing. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Maxi with it. Defended by Young. And that one drops more. And one of the many ways Maxi could hurt you with his shooting. Lightning fast on that release. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. outside back to Bogdanovich pocket six fires for three rebound by the 76ers here's George kicks it out to Maxi. Ejected by Young. And in time, that one just right. That'll fire up Young and his teammate. The Hawks leading. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. Inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Greg, since making it to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021, the Atlanta Hawks haven't been that good. And it was hard to tell if that was a Cinderella run at the time. But Kevin looking like that might have been the outlier. The Hawks took some risks to get back there, but it just hasn't worked. And he can't get the first one. And the 76ers making a change here. Drummond's checked in. He hits the second from the line. And Nick Nurse, Greg, the 26th head coach in 76ers franchise history. And Kevin, known for his creativity and, and that outside-the-box thinking, I think it's a good fit with this forward-thinking front office. Oubre, good. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Johnson outside. Back to Young. Takes the three. Capella. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And that's Capella getting rewarded for his effort on the glass. Love when that kind of hustle pays off. Drummond finds Oubre. Back to Drummond. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Maxi. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. 
and Max, he plays with so much energy. That time, he wills that one in off the contact. Here's Young, and the Hawks getting another basket right there. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Outside, Martin. Pass to George. Fires from deep. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Calm and cool from distance. George really confident from beyond. Bogdanovich with it. Let's it go from 11. Again, the Hawks score. Unselfish basketball. That's what coaches love to see. Maxi against Young. Maxi looking it over. Oubre, no one around him. From outside, off the mark. Maxi against Young. Paul George with the steal. to the middle two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul that's on Clint Capella that's a big body to mess with Drummond's a handful and let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Atlanta well, I have to applaud their ball movement they're moving the ball around finding the best looks they can and keeping everyone involved you also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. They throw good Drummond. And this past offseason, Stan, was pivotal for the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, they've been at a crossroads, Kevin, every offseason since their Eastern Conference Finals run in 2021. But after missing out on the playoffs last season, changes seemed inevitable. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okongwu comes in for Clint Capel, and Hunter subbed in for Jalen Johnson. And with this era of the Atlanta Hawks break, they've gone as far as their defense has let them. You look back at their conference finals run in 21, that was the last time they had a top 10 defense. So scoring's never been the issue with this core, but defense has been non-existent. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Alder. David. Kevin, thank you. Tyrese Maxey has stepped up into a starring role with the 76ers. He says these guys have the ultimate confidence in them, all the way from the organization down to the players. So I can just go out there and be aggressive, play my game, even through mistakes. It's all part of extraordinary growth for the guard. Kevin? EA thanks. He is rewarding their faith. And I love his statement on growth. He's always looking to expand. Here's Young after the Sixers pick up two. Bangs home the trifecta. Young's got seven points. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, this is why the fans are here. Each team trading blows, increasing the entertainment value. Now, here is George. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. George has got his second bucket. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. All right, fans, look who it is. Let me introduce the boys for the NBA Dancers. on 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Pass to Hunter. Packed in, coming off the assist from Young. Hunter's got the game tied up here for Atlanta. Uh, with a number of moves and shots to choose from, Hunter is scary. Nice bucket there. Here's George. Parisa Shea, and that one's good, George. And with his strength, George is not your average swing player. He can get his in the paint. Pass to Okongwu. 
to the inside. Here's Bogdanovich. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got seven. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Maxi kicks to Drummond. Maxi passes to Martin. Drummond sets the screen for George. The offensive rebound. And that's 280 pounds crashing the glass. Drummond bullying his way there on that second chance bucket. Now, here is Young. Seven points in the game. Hunter against Martin. To the paint and stolen by Drummond. George looking around. Maxi. Bobbed up there for Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Well, physically attacking the rim is something Drummond does well, and the lob pass only makes it easier for him. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Hunter. And Young kicks to Hunter. Inside, here's Reese Shane. That one's in, his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Well, Rishi has decent size, and he uses it well that time to put points on the board. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. That's the Rishi Shane. Okongwu with a screen on George. And it's Risa Shea missing. The 76ers leading by four. George, no good. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Risa Shea, the prototypical size and skill for a wingman. Yeah, he's got some jelly to his game. Handle, touch, and his size, that becomes very tough to contain. Young, good. Young's got nine. Oh, crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contact. Outside, Maxi, and here's George for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Three and the 76ers lead by five. And really, he came into the game with that long-range shot looking great. Boy, he can wind up with a crazy number of threes today. Pass to Hunter. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. Launches it. Knocks down the three ball. He's got ten. Oh, he is so good from deep. Bogdan is even better shooting out of the corner. Now, here is George. Defense right on him. He gets that one. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Well, you expect there to be peaks and valleys, but you've got some excellent That's scores on both sides. Of the foot. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. 76ers ahead, leading by four. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, a lot of times you'll hear coaches yell, get the ball inside. And you can see why. Good things happen when you get the ball into the paint. And they've also been feeling it from beyond the arc. Good start for them so far. So on the floor for Philadelphia, they've got NB. Gordon is out there with Lowry. Then it's Martin. And it's Council in at the three spot. Right on the bucket. Well, credit the screen there, springing him loose for the finish. Young against Lowry. Here's Okongwu. Good D by Embiid. Well, give credit to the defense for cutting him off. Normally, that'd be easy points for him at the rim. 
Lowry deciding where to go with it here. And beat inside. Johnson's there. And he hits the bucket. And now an 8.76ers lead. It's just so tough to knock Embiid off the block. That's his territory. Lowry against Young. Okongwu with the screen on Lowry. Young from outside. And the rebound goes to Martin. Philadelphia leading by eight. Pass to Gordon. And B the screen. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Yabusele, he's checked in for the 76ers. Atlanta shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Embiid with the steal. Lowry against Young. Lowry kicks to Mark. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. Pass to Abusele. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Hawks trail by eight. Daniels dishes to Young. And the turnover again by Atlanta. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Number 20, Derek McCain. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Young against Lowry. So Stan, you started in the NBA back in the mid-90s. How is coaching different from, say, now to back then? Wow, Kevin, it's just so different and in so many ways. The players have gotten better. Bigger, faster, more skilled. There's more coaches on a staff. Strength coaches have increased in volume and in influence, so there's less practice. Everything now has to be done differently. Everything is bigger, isn't it? It really is. Embiid the screen. Down low, five on the clock, and the dunk by Embiid. What a scary sight. Joel Embiid with all that momentum taking it to the hoop, looking like a freight train. And we'll have a timeout called by Quinn Snyder. Wants to talk some things over, might be seeing some things to adjust. Like everyone wants it, we are. And Philadelphia making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Coming up to the floor for the 76ers. Double zero, Reggie Jackson. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Young passed to Okongwu. Now Johnson. Back to Okongwu. And the rejection by Embiid. So agile. At seven feet, Embiid covers a lot of territory. And finished off by Martin. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Young against Lowry. And they get it. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Young. He's smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young, very reliable in that pick and roll. Here's Embiid. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Embiid's got six here in this quarter. We love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. Yeah, they're being absolutely relentless. Nice. Building this lead 
in every way possible. You know, a stellar floor general. Young has that uncanny ability to find his guys at the right time. Outside Jackson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. Pass to Johnson. Inside. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Embiid with a screen on Young. Lowry for three. Atlanta with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Lowry against Young. Lobbed up there for Johnson. And then Johnson with the jam. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. High post, Embiid. Rebounded by the Hawks. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Young outside. Pass to Daniel. Johnson sets the screen for Young to the inside. And then Johnson with the dunk. What a play by Young. Out of that pick and roll. Does a great job with his decision. And it's Jackson with the ball. Bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've held a 12-point lead early at the top of the key and B. Back to Jackson. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Great open look there. Lowry's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Lowry can be dangerous from deep. The defense has to guard him better than this. Now Daniels. To the paint. Here's Young. Good work defensively by Lowry. Philadelphia leading by nine. Here's Gordon, and taken away by Johnson. Here's Young, and some very quick points for him on that possession. Young's got four points now in the fourth. Really clever with the basketball. Young so advanced offensively. Excellent pull-up jumper there. Here's Embiid, and it's Daniels with the rebound. Hawks have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. And hard to miss the wide open man that time. Kudos to Young for finding him. Philadelphia's gone 1 of 3 from way outside since the start of the second quarter. To the middle. And finished off by Martin. Yeah, his athleticism more than makes up for his lack of size. Allows him to compete even against bigger guys. Pass to Young. Johnson sets the screen for Young. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, you can't question his confidence from out there, but it's not falling. Maybe time for a different approach. Up top, MB tries it from 19. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got three assists in the game. Young with the ball. He's got 13. And it's Johnson with the jam. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Riza Shea is coming in for DeAndre Hunter. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Dyson Daniel. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Kayla Martin's checked in for Embiid. Paul George comes in for Martin. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Gordon. And Maxi's subbed in for Jackson. Outside, Maxi. 
Pass to Mark. Launches a three, and Capella sends it back. Quick off the floor, has that long reach. Capella there with the intimidation. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. High post shot. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This league, Stan, is so deep with talent. Are there any players who you think get overlooked in the conversation? That's a great question, Kevin. I mean, there are some guys who I think get underrated because they play with other guys who are so talented and draw the attention. One guy that I have really seen lately that I think has been better than people think is Grayson Allen, the best three-point shooter or one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA and a very underrated defender. And he's evolving, isn't he? Looks like he's working on other parts of his game, but he's always been able to shoot, which has been his calling card. And he's a much more athletic guy than people give him credit for. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. And, and you know, few guys play their role better than Bogdanovich. And, and by that, I mean he's often exceeding expectations and giving his squad more than they asked for. George, that's a two-pointer. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Hawks trail by five. Here's Reza Shea. Johnson the screen. On its way from Young for two. They get it back. Johnson sets the screen for Bogdanovich. Young in the corner. A three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Maxey's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint and taken away by Johnson. Fast break for Hawks. Shot from 16. And Reza Shea. The bucket on the assist from Young. Reza Shea's got his second bucket of the game to go. And it's Maxey with the ball for Philadelphia. Shot from the screen. Maxey kicks to Uber. A three-pointer is right on target. Oubre has got five. A, a legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. Johnson outside. Bogdanovich up top. Now recovering. Bogdanovich passes to Young. In the corner, it's Capella. Six on the shot clock. Young taking his time here. And Chen shot. They shoot again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And, and a great display of physicality from Capella. He's not one to shy away from contact. The Hawks have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. Martin, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. What's up? That's good from Capella. The 76ers leading by three. Outside, Martin. Driving inside and finished off by Martin. Yeah, spotting the open teammate there. Nice work by Maxi. The Atlanta's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. Pole of four. This team has handed a lot of responsibility to Tyrese Maxey, but Greg, he's lived up to it. And has grown very well into his role with the team, shown that he can be a scorer all over the field. Out of the rafters, he puts it in! Are you kidding me? And how about his athleticism for a big man? Capella is able to make plays above the rim. Here's Maxey. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Nice execution by the offense, generating a good look. Pass to Young. And he drops in the 
layup off the glass. Young's got 15. Nice job capitalizing down there. Young good at probing inside and finding some space. Maxi sets a screen for Oubre. Outside, Maxi. Oubre against Bogdanovich. He gets it in there. Kelly Seven Oubre points in the game. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. And here's Young. 15 points in the game. Over Maxi. Young's shot is off. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. 76ers lead by five. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge. Sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. as we get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet Joel Embiid has been sensational and he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half I don't know how you slow him down yeah look even when you put a body on him he finds ways to extend possessions we've got second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession. The front court is Reese Shea and Johnson. Young and Bogdanovich are the guards. And it's Capella in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. And that one's Ball good, goal. George. And we know George can score from all three levels, which is why he's capable of catching fire. Pass to Reese Shea. Back to Young. Over Maxi. Again, Young missing. Philadelphia leading by eight. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. He got for us, D.A. Kevin, thanks. I asked Quinn Snyder what he enjoys most about coaching, and the Hawks coach said the opportunity to compete in such an intense way. Also, the tactics of the game and the intellectual part of player development. It's rewarding to see and have a part in someone's growth. Group. Kevin? Maybe that's coaching, right? Growth and development. Mind for the game, for sure. I've always respected Coach Snyder. Three-pointer. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And this kid, we should say, is a team-first kind of player. Willing to give it up to the open man. Last to MB. And they double up in B. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. That's in. Coming off the assist from MB. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting lead. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Here's Bogdanovich. And MB pulls it down. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. Tries from 16. Nice jump shot. Good. Now it's a 7-point 76ers lead. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Inside. 
And the slam dunk by Johnson. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley. -oop. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, and yet, we still see it a lot. It's a tough thing to police. The Hawks trail by five. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Pass to Johnson. We see coaches stand willing to pay fines for complaining about the officiating. I'm having a hard time thinking if you ever did that. <laughs> Going back in my Rolodex here. Did you? Did you ever do that, coach? <laughs> I mean, Kevin, I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars of fines Ooh, ouch, in the NBA. Yeah. Uh, my wife was not real happy about that at one point, <laughs> reminding me early on that we had four kids we were going to try to put through college. And she told me one year I just gave away two college educations. Oh, goodness. <laughs> And both free throws, good for Johnson. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside, George. Buries it down low. And that's now 18 points for George. And it's really hard to knock George off his balance. He's just so long and strong. Nice take there. And we'll have a timeout called by Quinn Snyder. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Get loud, fans! On the court, it's yours! outside and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. Young's got five points now in the quarter outside George high post and B and Capella sends it back here's Reza Shea defended by George outside to the inside Johnson and the slam dunk by Johnson never a bad idea to run the old kick play uh-uh you're right and if it produces a slam like that we'll probably see more of them yeah defensive breakdown there gotta communicate and switch that screen they get it again and be off with the layup Atlanta's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far outside Capella with a screen on Maxi that puts them in the lead Young's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Atlanta and easy to admire Young's confidence he knows he has the ability to drain it from way outside the three from George rebounded by the Hawks Oh, about this one Craig they're on right now wow I mean they're just getting to their spots and executing really keeping things simple and some kind of switch must have been flipped at halftime because both teams are getting after them. yeah and you can feel the pace picking up in this second half both teams have dialed up the intensity Maxi against Young epic counts Maxi's got seven now in this quarter Oh, what a sweet shot by Maxi! Not putting too much behind it. Johnson sets the screen for Reza Shea. Again, the Hawks score. Now, here's Maxi. 15 points in the game. Oubre outside. Back to Maxi. On the wing, George. 
drives to the hoop. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got six rebounds in the game. Down low. And the dunk by Capella. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. The 76ers trail by six. Outside, Martin. Back to Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Uh, offensively, Maxi can be such a problem. He attacks you with that relentless energy. Boy, Stan, think of it. How many teams could use the defensive versatility that Caleb Martin brings to a team into the floor? Yeah, look, Kevin, he's capable of guarding four positions on the floor, plays a lot bigger than his size would indicate, and gives his team a lot of flexibility with rotations. He brings such great energy, doesn't he stand off the bench? I know he has started, but his bench play can really affect the game. Yeah, and that's a great thing, too. He can start, come off the bench. This guy will give you whatever you need. Bogdanovich looking around. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Now Oubre. He has seven. Pass to Mark. Oubre, a screen on Johnson. Embiid with it. Pocket six. With a tie. Johnson with the rebound. The Hawks leading by three. Outside Bogdanovich. It's Young on the wing. To the paint. Here's Johnson. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. Johnson's got 23. And, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Maxi kicks to Mark. Kicks it out to Maxi. On the wing, George. One points in the game. And, and you do not want to be on the receiving end of that. MB throwing it down with some funk. Pass to Johnson. Maxi against Young. Count the basket. Young's got 14 points now in the second half. Man, this guy can light up the night with his scoring. Hard for the defense to contain Young. Maxi sets a screen for Martin. Off target with his three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. his first, team second. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Well, they've been owning the painted area offensively. I love the intensity they're playing with down there. And the other thing that stands out is just how well they have moved the ball. Everyone's touching it and having a chance to create. And the first one drops. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that'll allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Hunter comes in for Johnson. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for Riza Shea. Then for the 76ers, Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Martin comes in for Martin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for George. And something you like about Young is how he forces an opponent's hand. He makes you adapt and not the other way around. Outside Lowry. Drummond the screen. Five to shoot. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Maxi. Moves back up. And that's two points on the lane. Maxi's got 11 points in the quarter. And with how explosive Maxi is, he's not your average guard in the paint. Young pass to Daniels. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Oubre has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Lowry dishes to Oubre. Pass to Maxi. 
now. Martin covered by Okongwu. Here's Truman. Outside for Martin. Maxi against Young. Second shot opportunity, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Trey Young. And give credit to Maxi for just being aggressive inside, earning that whistle in the process. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Maxi hits them both. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. It's a three-point game. Okongwu kicks to Daniels. Pass to Young. That one falls. Young's got 18 points just in the second half. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Yeah, he didn't let the defense affect him there. He just kept his focus. Maxi finds Lowry. Common sets the screen for Lowry. Over Daniels. The 76ers again can't hit it. Well, he's got the green light in that situation. They want him taking that shot, even if he didn't get it to go. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shoots the three. Rebound Andre Drummond. The 76ers trail by five. Gordon with it. Up on the screen. Going up for the LU and emphatic LU jam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an LU. Outside, Maxi. Martin with a screen on Young. Maxi and a miss there on the triple. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Daniels passes to Young. For the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the inside. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Well, that's about as high percentage a look as Drummond's going to get. Nice job inside. Young against Maxi. Now, here is Young. He's guarded closely. Okongwu with the screen for Young. From outside, off the mark. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's Atlanta. They lead by five. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Yeah, that's high-level playmaking. He makes it look easy, but it's not. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. We've got Gordon. Joel Embiid out there with Martin. Then there's Lowry. And it's Doughton in at the shooting guard position. Right side, Martin. Launches it. It's good. And the Hawks lead has got down to just two points with the bucket from Kyle Lowry. And those are the shots that get your teammates fired up. Lowry with a huge shot in the arm. Nance dishes to Young. 
to Okongwu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's four. Clearly a foul. Onyeka Okongwu. Two shots. First one falls for him. As 76ers making a switch here. Council's checked in. That one is no good. The 76ers trail by three. The drive by Gordon. And that one, good. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yeah, in hopes that your opponent is just going to go cold, that's not going to happen. It doesn't look like in this one. This might go down to whoever has the last possession. Here's Hunter. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Gordon finds Lowry inside. Philadelphia moving the ball around to take the lead. Atlanta with the rebound. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. Count it and the foul. That one on Embiid. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential Defense qualities to have late in a close game. It's fifth. Second team foul. Onyeka Okongwu. One shot. And Stan, here we are watching DeAndre Hunter. What impresses you most about his game? Well, I like how steady he has been since he came into the league. I like the fact that he's a guy who can make shots but doesn't need the ball a lot. And I especially like, Kevin, that he's just a guy who figures out what needs to be done and he's willing to do any of it to help his team win. What a great intangible, right? To shift during a game and, like you said, give the team what they need at that moment. Martin kicks to Maxi. Shot clock at six. To tie it up. Okongwu grabs the board. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. The lead is two. And stolen by Maxi. And here's the fast break. Maxi leading the way. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. A solid facilitator I like whenever Maxi looks to get his guys involved. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Gordon. What's up? They now lead as the free throw drops for him. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Young against Maxi. Young's shot is good. Young's got 35. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Hunter against Oubre. Inside. And Drummond throws it down. Drummond, a, a huge target rolling to the rim. For Atlanta, they've gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Young, right side. Over Maxi. Young with a terrific move and the bucket. 
Young's got four this quarter. And the thing about Young's jumper, it's almost intimidating. And that unlocks so many other options for him. Maxi kicks to Uber. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And the 76ers lead by one. The Hawks have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Young inside. He's covered by Max. Hunter, the pass to Nance. Six to shoot. Here's Daniels. Fires for three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Drummond's got four rebounds in this game. Oubre passes to Martin. Count the basket and the foul. That's on DeAndre Hunter. Tossing the pass to the interior. That's what you want to do. Get into the paint. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the 76ers. Well, they've been hitting threes at a high clip, and the defense hasn't done enough to challenge them at the line. They need to close out and run them off the three. And also, got to be impressed with their interior play, getting it in the paint and figuring out ways to score. And that one misses. The Hawks trail by three. Pass to Bogdanovich. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. What pace on the fast break for Bogdanovich. Getting out ahead and protecting the opportunity to score. Here's Maxi. Can't hit from 12. The Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Hunter. That one doesn't go. Good D by Drummond. Philadelphia's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Martin finds Lowry. And Devine Maxey and gets it to him. Drummond passes to Maxey. And Capella sends it back. They recover it. Lowry fires away from outside. Trey Young grabs the miss. I'm honestly not sure what that was about. Maybe a protest against his coach? Well, if that was one of my players, I'd think about sitting him down right away and letting him think about that one. Reza Shea. That ball. Nice speed that time from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists in the game. The 76ers trail. Here's Lowry. It's Drummond, top of the key. And here's Maxi. Right through the cylinder that time. All net. That's 23 points for Tyrese Maxi. Doing some damage from the mid range. Maxi skilled at finding space to let it fly. Pass to Rizuche for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Drummond's got six rebounds here tonight. Lowry kicks to Maxi. Here's Drummond. To the inside. Here's Martin. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Now it's a 3.76ers lead. Pass to Hunter. Back to Young. Bogdanovich. That's for two. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Bogdanovich has got four points this quarter. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. Well, you know this is when they lean on him. And he delivers with a much-needed score. And it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. Johnson is checked in for the Hawks. Then for the 76ers, Embiid, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Martin comes in for Martin. And it's Paul George in for Kyle Lowry. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. Now with the game in the balance, Coach told his team to play loose. Don't overthink it. We got this far playing our game, and we can win the same way. 
Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Embiid against Capella. Embiid, the pass to Maxi. Pass to George from downtown, and he's good on the three ball. George has got 24 points. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. Well, yeah, and the defense is going to have to respond to that and chase him off the arc. Young, no good. The 76ers leading by four. Now, here's Oubre. Outside, Maxi. Martin with a screen on Young. Here's Maxi. Good work defensively by Johnson. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Bogdanovich, the basket good. Off the assist from Young. 18 points for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi over Young. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Maxi's got 17 points here in the second half. Now Bogdanovich. Young with the ball. Johnson with a screen on Maxi. Young climbs in. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense for Maxi. Oubre on the wing. He's covered by Bogdanovich. And Bead sets the pick for Maxi. Another miss by Maxi. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Young. Over Maxi. Young, no good. The 76ers leading by four. Outside, George. Outside, Maxi. And B with a screen on Young. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. Maxi's got seven points from the board. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Yeah, it's always a little risky to lean this hard on the three-point shot. But when you're knocking him down, you might as well keep right. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. He's not taking any chances. He wants to huddle him up right away. Here's Young. Thank in off the glass. Young's got 39. <laughs> this is why people are just so high on Young, because he comes through with big shots in the game. And that's it with the basket on the assist by Martin. And the 76ers lead by seven. The Hawks have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Great initiative from Capella there. Seeing an opportunity to score and getting the detail. Yeah, and, and luckily, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. That free throw, no good. Now, 
So he comes up empty at the one. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 14-6 run. And that one, good. And now a 9.76ers lead. Time running out for the Hawks. 153 left in the game. Capella with a screen on Maxi. Young with no one around. Good on the triple. Young's got 42 in the game. And most of the time, you expect Young's three ball to fall. That's just how good he is. The three from George drills the three-pointer. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Asked about Donovich. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Right side, George. Oubre outside. Martin wide open. He fires. Three pointers off the mark. The Hawks trail by six. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And they have to play fast, but also smart. Every possession counts. Outside, George. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Up and in and on the way. Well, they expect this from him. And he's a big reason they're out in front right now. Maxi against Young. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now. And it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Young with the steal. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Johnson sends the screen for Reza Shin. That shot missing. And so here is Philadelphia. Eight-point game. Maxi against Young. So Philadelphia wins it. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. Yeah, and can you help the mental toughness that this group show? They, they were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Well, you guys dialed up the defense in this one. What were some of the adjustments you made? Well, we're starting to pressure up. You know, we're starting to use our hands. Um, you know, a team like that, you can't let them be comfortable. And uh, you're doing a great job of just, you know, taking away their airspace. Well, the defensive fundamentals got you through this one tonight, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. With Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, folks, on 2K Sports. And as we leave you, let's take a look at our player of the game, Tyrese Maxey.